Good morning lovelies. The sun is shining and we are going to home sense today. I am so excited. We're just getting ourselves ready. Perfume on. We're like new people. You might notice that our mattress is behind me. That is because we also have an exciting delivery coming today. So we've been cleaning up the house and getting ready for it. How are you feeling about going out? Weird. I've been out loads before. But going out with you into a normal shop. I know, very different. No restrictions though, are there, on the spending limit in Home Sense? Good, I'm glad that was a no no. I have been sent back upstairs to check this. Laura ordered some cushions from Oka. But we need to pick up some 60 by 35 cushions. It's a long way to get up here from the ground floor. What size were they? 60 by 35. We've made it and there is no queue. Are you ready? Things are looking up. <laughs> Things are looking up. It's a good day. <laughs> We're far too excited, can you tell? I will just say though, apart from family and home sense, there's pretty much nowhere else we want to go, is there? Pub, pub we're not that keen on. Food we're not that keen on. It'd be nice to eat out, but home sense and family. Love this one, but just did the heavy test with Ollie, and he says it's too heavy for the drawers. In fairness, it's very heavy, but it's only five ninety nine, so I'm still tempted. And I've already just checked my nail. Already sent Ollie to get a trolley. This one is the kind of look that I'm going for outside. I don't know if it's going to be more expensive than some that I've already got. It's thirty nine pounds, but I'm going to try it out. We're looking for a rug to go in my office and we wanted something similar to the one that we put in the bedroom and this one looks like a pretty good bed. It is the same size, so it's 200 by 300, but it is, hang on. £400, but it originally would have been 900 and they are pricey for that size. It's just a big commitment to make ever find Ollie caressing these ones here. You desperately want one somewhere, don't you? I think, no, I hate, I hate it, I just like the feel of it. <laughs> Fuck it. If you like our pookie lights, they've got these in at the moment and they're actually on clearance, a bargain. I'm not sure whether to pick one up because I've not got a place for one, but they are only, Ollie's pulling it the wrong way, <laughs> 12 pounds. I don't know if you can see that, it's not gonna focus. There we go, 12 pounds from 14.99, which I think is brilliant anyway. Where could we put one though? Living room? Maybe in the living room, yeah. They have got two of that style there. The only thing is, is that I don't know what they're called, but I like the different style when they're more like this shape. Yeah. Rather than the triangular shape. Maybe put them in basket though. making our way to the top floor. So far, semi-successful. I feel like we could have picked out more. You're restraining yeah. me for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for baskets for the understairs cupboard. But it's really difficult because we don't know a size yet. But looking at these, I think I like the look of that one. But there's only one of them. So we'd probably need about three, wouldn't we? Got a few other bits in here now. A few other kitcheny bits. Maybe on to Dunelm soon though. I think we might have exhausted home funds already. We need lots of bits like this too, but again, I don't think we can make the decision until we know the sizes. Yeah. This is a lovely laundry basket. So we are going to need to get into to build the storage, because we'll have to build the storage. To the size? Around the size. Ooh, should we have another look then? Plastic ones though for under the stairs, they're not that pretty. They're not that pretty, but they are practical. practical. <laughs> mm. 
maybe we need to pan it and then come back. Yeah, option. In Danal now, on the hunt for the cushions, I'm just gonna let Ollie pick the right size. <laughs> I haven't got them. Oh no, they haven't. No. I looked online, I'm sure they had them. Oh, no. they'll be slightly too big. That's this cushion. We want a 60 by 35 cushion. Yeah, 60 by 60 by 35, did you say? Yeah, there's only a 60 by 40. Oh, we could try that. I mean, you do usually want it a few centimeters too big. The inner size should be bigger. Yeah. But five centimeters may be a bit too much. Yeah. Where is that one then? No luck with the pillows, but we're now at Wix to hopefully get some panelling for the understairs cupboard. Although, whether it will fit in this mini or not, could be a challenge. It'll be fine. We've had worse in there. <laughs> I thought it showed that they had loads of these and stuff though. I thought it did too. I mean, if we want to get on, we could ask them and just see if that fit. Do you reckon that size would have been better now though, Ollie? You know we said that we're not doing it to the floor because we'll have to shelf. Yeah. And then we're not doing it to the ceiling. We say it time and time again, but minis are brilliant. <laughs> can fit everything in. I was so keen for lunch, I didn't even take my coat off whilst making it. That lunch was absolutely delicious. I thought I'd show you what we picked up. Not a huge amount actually, some kitchen things that we pretty much only ever get in HomeSense. So we had one of these previously from HomeSense and it broke and we were devastated. So Pyrex, it was 4 99 apparently RRP would have been £10.50 and they're so time saving because um so it measures out flour liquid rice and sugar so you don't have to get the scales out so if you're doing something like pancakes you can literally just chuck the ingredients in here put it into a bowl and it saves too much cleaning up and then these were ollie's he loves these silicone ones and we just wanted a few more they were 3.99 and then some more exciting things a hair turban i have this brand of hair turban in like a more of a grey, it's like a grey blue colour and I love it. It's so easy for like flinging up on your hair because it's quite tight to your head, it dries your hair really quite well. I do like to um, blow dry my hair but in between sometimes when I'm doing my makeup I want to put one of these on. It was 12 99 which I don't know if that's cheaper than it would have been normally but I thought as it was there I'd pick up a white one. And then this has to be my favourite. I am such a sucker for bowls or pottery or just anything beautiful like this. I thought this would be sun stunning. I mean, all year round, but specifically summer salads. Can you imagine a lovely melon salad piled up on here? This one I think was $12.99. Yep, $12.99. It's hand painted in Spain. Just so, so pretty. They had a few other bits like this, but they were a darker blue, but I loved this one because it was just that little bit more subtle. I think it would go lovely on our kitchen shelves. And then last but not least, we did pick up this wicker plant pot. It's $39.99 and this is basically the theme I want to go for for the garden, for the part of the garden that we're renovating. It has this lovely tag on, I don't know where it's from, but it just says 1915 and it has a really nice plastic container inside, so hopefully it'll be quite wearing. It feels like it's quite solid and wearing, it's not got a brand on the bottom. And it's a really good size because we weren't planning on doing the garden makeover that we're doing. I bought a lot of cut flower plants this year and now I have nowhere to put them. So I've been panicking a little bit. I need to get some pots and the pots will go in the space that we're basically making over. And I have ordered a few similar to this from the website, I always get it wrong. It's like JSYK or something similar. And it seems like a bit like Ikea, 
but I don't know where it's from. You can order things online. Cutting long story short, I've ordered two basket pots and they were at the £40 mark, but I did have to pay postage and I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna be as hard wearing as this. So I'm waiting for those to arrive. I was gonna go for four, but the postage on there, I could get, they come in a pack of two and I could get the two for only like five pound postage, but then getting four, I think the postage was like 22 pounds. So I just thought, I go for the two and see and to be honest i think it'd be quite nice to have them slightly different maybe i'll try and insert a bit of a picture with these kind of pots in i mean to be honest can you ever have enough pots i don't think so uh, we weren't successful on the cushions in den elm and we did pick up some of the paneling hopefully for the understairs cupboard but i think we might have to go back for more it's going to be one of those juggling games again where we try and use as little of it as possible and use as much wood as we have to save costs but yeah I'm so happy that HomeSense is open and probably, I mean, I don't know whether it'll be in this video, but I feel like it's the kind of place that I'm going to be going to quite often now because I feel like the house is definitely getting to that point where I have a lot of spaces that I need things for. I was specifically looking for the shelves in the bedroom and the office upstairs and I didn't find a lot of that kind of um, more decorative object stuff. So I'm hoping that they have a bit more in in the next few weeks and I can go again. But generally it was just so nice to do something semi-normal. Do any of you feel like the chores never stop? It's a bit later. I've got my scruffs on now. I put the washing on. Now I'm going to prime the kitchen cupboard doors again and also the panelling for the understairs cupboard. And then hopefully I'll be able to do it in top coat We're using the Ticarilla that we love, but we actually had this leftover. I don't know if you guys remember, but when we first did the living room, we picked a earthborn pink called St. John. We just didn't like it. It was too blue, but we're actually using it for all of the things that we don't particularly care about, i.e. the understairs cupboard. It's been a few days and I feel like I have neglected the vlog, so I'm really sorry for that. But it's been a busy week and a busy week that I couldn't particularly film. We're really trying to narrow down on all of the wedding plans. And I think this is probably, I don't want to say the hardest because it hasn't been hard. This is the most thought provoking time of the wedding planning because picking the venue has a lot to do with the people you're inviting, the budget, um, sorting accommodation and logistics of the day. So I feel like once we have this bit planned, it'll then kind of like all slot into place and it'll get a little bit easier. But the this week and probably maybe the next week or so is going to be trying to figure all of that out um, and get that under wraps and all like booked, like basically book the venue. So there's been that. But also I've been working on the understairs cupboard and that video will be coming next week. So the start to finish and the reveal of that one, as well as doing little bits on the garden and just general life organizing. So excuse the fact that I might be a little bit manic at the moment. I thought I'd open some things for you today. I have some new bits in, so I thought I'd go through that. And this, this video seems to be a bit of a shopping vlog, I thought anyway, and a little bit of a catch up basically. Already creating the biggest mess down here possible. First things first, I'll start with the ASOS one because this is like, Ollie, if you're watching this, skip this part. But basically, it is gonna be Ollie's 30th birthday this August and I really wanted to plan something exciting, something special, holiday away, but obviously because of the situation, I'm not really sure what to do, whether we'll be going abroad. I always thought that we would do Norway. Um, Ollie's like an adventure guy. He loves camping. He loves places with, with views, as you may have been able to tell from our videos. So yeah, we always thought that would be a really nice place to go. And even though it may be on the greenness, I just worry about the whole facts of like 
being vaccinated and um, actually being able to enjoy it because it's the type of holiday that we'd like hire, it would be a road trip, so we'd hire a car and I'd have to book so many different locations, so like different hotels, um, different activities. And I think if it came to it, getting that refunded would just be such a nightmare. So I'm trying to think of plan Bs. I'm trying to think of um, things that we could do in the UK. I just can't decide whether it's better off to totally postpone it and kind of say, let's do something another year. But I feel like that never feels the same. Like it's not quite your birthday then. So what would you guys do? Would you go ahead and book something? Would you wait? I do think we could do maybe Ireland or Scotland, like the same kind of thing, like road trippy. Outside, they've got a few like really cool tree houses. And then maybe I'll do something as well, like a party here um, at the same time. So after that long ramble, that is basically why I bought these because I'm really kind of figuring out that I need some sensible more southwesty or activity clothes shoes in my life um and these i thought looked gorgeous case in point kind of like would suit my outfit today but also would suit going for a walk or being on a beach and i think that these were a really reasonable price they're the teva sandals i think these are just like the classic you can get some which are much more expensive they're made from recycled material um, they've got these Velcro, Velcro <laughs> straps so you'll be really tightly strapped in. Can you imagine me in a treehouse with these? Basically that is the vibe. But I thought I'd um, try out some things so that hopefully come August I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, if I get anything booked. <laughs> okay, my toes look dreadful so I don't know if I'm going to show you me trying them on. I must admit, I feel like a little bit of a kid trying them on, especially with a little Velcro strap. But they can't be, and I think they could actually look quite cute. Excuse my nails. Even that sound, even that sound makes me feel like a child. I think maybe in the next few weeks I'll do a spring, summer, clothing, fashion-y type video because I have been picking up a few things. These I'm just looking at and I'm thinking I may have picked the wrong size, but I love mint velvet jeans. I have a pair of their jeans and they are so comfortable and they also just like feel really flattering. They wash really, really well. Um, so I got basically the same style in a lighter colour <laughs> like I've got on today. These are a little bit more cream though. They're the boyfriend fit, I believe. Yeah, and they were £79, but I got them in the 10 regular and I think I probably needed to go for the 8, but... We'll see, I will try those on in another video soon, if you're curious. And then I also wanted to get some chino trousers, something that I could wear kind of casually without having to wear jeans. To be honest, I wear a huge amount of dresses in the spring, summer months. It's like my most worn item. But every now and then, a dress doesn't feel appropriate, especially if the weather isn't so good. I think these were around the same price point, yeah, 79, and I also got these in a 10 regular, I just, just don't know if they look perhaps a little bit too big. I'm always surprised. I quite liked that these had a gold button too. And I actually also ordered those in the navy to try. But they've got a silver. Yeah, it's like a silvery button on them. Now these I have been lusting over. And these go in and out of stock from Fairfax and Favour. They come in their own little dust bag. Now these are definitely towards the spring, like mornings and evenings when it's still quite chilly. We're waking up, it's still only about one degrees in the morning here. Oh, these are so gorgeous. So they're like a chunky Chelsea boot. They're really supportive. They're perfect for walking and weather. They've got loads of really good grip on them, but also they're fleece lined. So they're super warm inside, really, really comfortable. And the thing that I love about these, I'm literally in love with them. When I tried them on, they are like, they're chunky, but they look skinny on the foot. Like they don't look chunky. I've tried so many chunky boots, but I feel ridiculous in them because they're so big on the foot. Whereas I feel like these, you could wear them almost with a dress. Does that make sense? Anyway, very, very excited about these. I will try these on to show you, show you their non-chunkiness. And this arrived literally just at the right time. So Raindrop actually sent me this package and they're a zero waste cleaning product. Oh, that's gonna be a horrible sound. 
which is so clever. I absolutely love this. So they send you the bottle, so you've got multi, bathroom, and kitchen. And then the solution comes in like little droplets. I think that's what they call it. It's, I think that's why it's called raindrops. And then you just fill the bottles with water. So you see they're all like colored. How clever. So you just pop those in. And then obviously when you're reordering, you're only reordering these. And not only that, but they're vegan, non-toxic, plastic-free, biodegradable, non-toxic, I really appreciate because I often find, especially in the bathroom, if I'm cleaning with anything like bleach, it really gets in my throat and I've stopped using it completely. Um, and now I only use non-toxic cleaning products. Which is actually just reminding me that I need to order one of those shower screen squeegee things because I have the Method shower screen spray, which I thought that you could just spray on there and it would magically clean the screen it doesn't <laughs> in fact i think it looks worse it just like dribbles it down the screen um anyway i'm gonna order one of those now so here are the boots on do you kind of see what i mean they're quite slimming to the foot even though they're lovely and chunky they're gonna keep your feet super warm but also just be really really comfortable they're amazing if you're gonna be outside a lot and I think I'm going to sign this one off here because if I don't, I'm not going to go and finish the understairs covered for next week. But I will see you guys and bye.